back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle and for today's video we're gonna be talking about something pretty exciting and I'm sure you already know what it is Fenty Beauty by Rihanna yes we all know that she recently in this past week actually just released her makeup line of products and everybody and their mom is talking about it everybody's excited everybody's hyped and so am I you guys know I had to cut myself the primer and foundation so for today's video I'm pretty much going to be doing my first impressions showing you how it applies how it wears throughout the day and then giving you my final thoughts and opinions I will be wearing this for hopefully a full 12 hours we shall see how it goes so I really do hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new you know what to do join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos I post and with that being said let's get into it alrighty so like I did say I will be doing a first impressions on the primer and foundation today I have to say everything in the collection looked amazing but what caught my eye was the fact that Rihanna came out with 40 foundation shades. I'm sure you've all heard it all before, but like it's really hard for me personally to find the perfect foundation shade to match me. I feel like there are a lot of colors available that are my skin tone, but in saying that I do have a lot of difficulty when it comes to finding a foundation with the right undertone. So if you guys are wondering, the shade that I picked out for myself is number 240 and honestly I don't even know if this is going to match me because I have not even swatched it yet, but the way that I picked out my shade was on the Australian Sephora website. They do have this kind of like foundation matcher tool, so you put in whatever other foundation shades you use and they match you to what your best one would be. So 240 is the one that the website picked out for me, and I'm really hoping that it's going to match because I'm filming this video right now, and if it doesn't match, then I don't know what to do. But first things first, packaging let's just take a moment to admire it like the packaging is beautiful but what we really want to take a look at is the actual product packaging now these are just like typical frosted glass bottles the caps are plastic and they both come with pumps which is awesome it's safe to say that I'm really digging the packaging I love how like sleek yet simple it is now I'm just gonna quickly read out what the claims are for this primer so what it claims to be is a shine stopping pore diffusing primer that smooths the way for better foundation application and longer wear and for its claims of what it does the website says nothing is sexier than touch worthy skin and pro filter instant retouch primer is the first step to getting there paired with pro filter foundation this oil-free primer smooths away the look of pores visibly even skin tone and texture and instantly absorbs shine without feeling dry or chalky that means smoother foundation application and longer makeup wear the cushiony texture mattifies skin with the lightest possible feel and the universal Invisipink formula creates a filter like blurring effect melting instantly into all skin tones without a trace Pro Filter works all day to help makeup last longer, feeling lightweight and comfortable. So what I just read out to you guys were the claims for the primer. Now I'm going to read to you guys what the foundation claims are. So it says what it is, is a soft matte long wear foundation with buildable medium to full coverage in a range of 40 shades. Now for what it does, it says born in 40 boundary breaking shades, Pro Filter soft matte long wear foundation gives skin an instantly smooth, pore diffused, shine free finish that easily builds to your ideal coverage. The oil-free formula is made with climate adaptive technology that is resistant to sweat and humidity and won't clog pores so that wherever you are, it's going to work on your skin. Best of all, this long wearing light as air texture is undetectable on skin, so you always look like you. I don't know about you guys, but all of that sounds pretty good to me. I also just wanted to note that Fenty Beauty is in fact 100% cruelty free so I mean Rihanna is just like making moves right now like seriously she is doing the damn thing but now that all that is out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and apply these products to my face because I'm sure you guys are sick of me talking about them so let's get to applying now even though I do have the primer I think I'm just going to go ahead and 
prime only half of my face because I feel like people also do want to see how the foundation kind of wears and reacts without a primer. Even though for me personally, I will not wear a foundation without a primer. I'm doing this purely just because people ask me to do like half a face with and half a face without. So we got the primer. This is how she's looking. It is um, just looking like a primer. It kind of reminds me of like a moisturizer, you know? But I'm just going to go ahead and prime this side of my face, my left side. So I don't know if I put too much. But... Ooh, that smells nice. I was kind of expecting this to be similar to that of the Benefit. Oh, got it in my hair. Yeah, I was kind of expecting it to be similar to Benefit's Professional, you know, like that really silicone kind of primer because they talk about how it smooths out your pores and whatnot. But honestly, that is not what this is. This literally just feels like a moisturizer. I also just wanted to note that on this side of my face, I do have a lot more texture than this side. I don't know why, this is like my bad side of my face. You guys have that, like one side of your face breaks out more than the other. It's this side for me. Also, I just wanted to note that I do have very oily skin. I should have said that in the beginning, but yes, my skin type is super oily, very oily. So I'm keen to see how this foundation will live up to its claims of being matte. All right, that has completely like sunken into my skin. I kind of do feel like it's done something. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like it's just like evened out the complexion. I don't know if I'm just like, you know, placebo effect right now, but I feel like it's honestly kind of calmed the redness down and just like smoothed everything out and evened it out. I don't know. So that is the primer on the left side. Remember that. Now we're gonna go into the foundation. I'm so nervous. I really hope this matches me, guys. Like you have no idea. I'm like, really hoping that it matches me. I'm just shaking it up because they do say to shake up the bottle well before use. Also, I think I forgot to mention that the price of this was 50 Australian dollars, which is pretty good for a higher end foundation. Some of our high end foundations can go up to like 60, 70, maybe even 80 bucks. So $50, that's pretty good. All right, so moment of truth, guys. We're gonna... Oh. That actually looks like a really nice color for me. It looks very yellow undertone, which I like because I have a super warm yellow undertone. And as you can see, she's very runny, very runny. So we better get this on the face. I'll start on the non-prime side. I wonder if this is gonna be too dark for me because I know that a lot of people were saying that their foundations kind of dried down darker. So we're gonna have to see how that works. So to blend this in, I'm just gonna be using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and we shall see. I also have a brush just in case. I don't like how this works, but we'll see. Ooh. Okay, so far so good guys. Like that actually looks like my skin. And off the bat, like it definitely is not full coverage. So I will be layering it to kind of see how it, um, you know, builds upon itself. But I actually do like the coverage that it's giving me so far. Like, don't get me wrong, I do love a good full coverage, but I also do like my natural skin to show through sometimes. So I'm really liking how that's looking. Like it just looks like my skin, you know? And this has a very yellow, undertone again i did mention in the beginning but if you didn't catch it my shade is number 240 at least that's the shade that i picked up so that's pretty much one thin layer on the right side of my face i do feel like the sponge kind of did soak up a lot of the product so i'm just going to be using my real techniques expert face brush i'm going to go ahead and um, see if we can get a little more coverage with this Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, already I can tell that it's probably more preferable to apply this foundation with a brush. And I can definitely see that it is drying down darker because you can see, like, the little patches of foundation where I applied more are lighter than the rest of what's there. So it is definitely drying darker. So I've just finished applying the foundation to this side of my face and I'm just showing you guys my hand because as you can see, it has dried down darker. So that's definitely something to take into consideration when you are picking out your shade. If you're not sure, definitely like do a couple swatches, let it dry, walk around, go check out some other things and then come back and see which color would match you best. But lucky for me, I think this could be my color or maybe it is a tinge like too dark but for the most part I think it looks 
pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the primed side now. I'm just gonna stick to the brush just because I feel like I won't be wasting as much product with it. This foundation also has a scent to it, but it's like, it's not unpleasant. I don't know how to describe it, but it smells like very familiar to me. See, as you can see, when it's wet, it is a little lighter and then it does dry down darker. So definitely, definitely take that into consideration when picking your shade. I'm just gonna finish off the rust of my face. So far, so good, guys. Like, I'm really, really liking how it looks on the skin. Even though it is a matte foundation, I don't feel like it's like sucking the life out of me. You know how sometimes you put a matte foundation on and it's like, okay, like, did I die? Like, it just makes you look so dried out. Even though this foundation is matte, I feel like it does have that, like, like it has a little bit of a glow, which is, I like that. So looking at it now, I'd have to say that this shade is probably like a shade darker for me, but I mean, I'm not mad about it because I can fix that up when I go ahead and do the rest of my makeup. And I'll probably have to like bronze up my chest, you know, to kind of match everything, but, that looks good like that looks really good all right so the foundation is on and i don't know about you guys but i'm really really liking how it's looking let me just look at it up close so so it has given me a really beautiful even complexion and it definitely has not emphasized my pores which i like i am not noticing any difference between the prime side and the non-prime side not yet anyway i'm honestly really liking how it's looking like everything looks nice and even it has like that really nice kind of matte finish but in saying that it has a glow it's it's crazy it's weird like it hasn't dried me out i don't look like i've had the life sucked out of me like it just it looks like my skin but just like the best version possible so now that the foundation is applied i won't actually be setting it into place with any type of powder i am going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup though and i will be back it is a little bit darker than my chest, just a tinge, so we're gonna fix that up with some bronzer. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So I'm back and as you can see, I have finished applying the rest of my face makeup on, which I did not have any difficulty applying products on top of the foundation, so that was good. Also, I did not set it in place with a powder, but I feel like I almost feel like it's kind of like set itself into place. Like it doesn't feel tacky or anything like that. And I feel like it's definitely gone from like a liquid to a powder finish, which is awesome. But it does not look like I'm like really dried out right now, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm really liking how it looks. And as you can see, I was able to match it up a little bit better. So I'm really happy with that. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue on with my day. I will check back in with you guys in a couple of hours just to give you an update and a little look to see how the foundation has been sitting on my skin. So with that being said, I am going to continue on with my day and I'll see you in a few hours. I'm back with an update for you guys. So we are just over the halfway point. I have been wearing the foundation now for about seven hours. And like I did say in the very beginning, I do intend to wear it for a full 12 hours just so we can get a complete day's wear out of it. Now, just to remind you guys, I did not set it in place. I have not touched up. I haven't even really looked at my face properly since I've applied it. And I have been out and about running errands, cleaning, doing all that stuff that you gotta get done. So let's take a look in the mirror and see how it's held up. You guys, honestly, I hope you can see exactly what I'm seeing right now because it looks so good. I actually have no creasing, like at all, no creasing whatsoever. And usually I do get creasing like around my laugh lines and my natural expression lines. That's just what happens for me. But honestly, like, there's nothing, there's no creasing. And the foundation hasn't even faded in any parts of my face, which is just crazy, considering the fact that it is a little warm where I am at the moment. And it was a super windy day today, so my hair was just like blowing all over the place. And I was for sure thinking that my foundation would be coming off, but everything is still in place and it looks so good. It has this really beautiful glow to it, which I'm obsessed with. It hasn't even caked up around my nose, which is typically what most foundations do as well, just because I do have very oily skin. Typically the T-zone area of my face gets super, super, super oily but it just, it looks so good. In terms of the primed side and the non-primed side, I don't really notice much of a difference. Like I don't see any difference between either side. They literally look the same. I am actually so shocked right now, you guys. Like I'm so shocked that it has not creased at all. And I just can't stop looking at it because my skin, man, it just looks so good. It looks so healthy, so evened out. Like, 
I'm in love. In terms of the color of the foundation on camera, I feel like it doesn't look too bad. Like my face is probably a shade darker than my chest, even though I did bronze up. But in saying that, when I went outside and I was in the car and I looked up in my mirror, I was like, whoa, like that is a big difference. Like I feel like it looks different in natural daylight than it does in front of these studio lights. So that's definitely something to take into consideration that when you are getting this foundation for yourself or you're getting matched, definitely take some time and have a look at it under different lighting situations because I feel like things look a lot better in artificial light than they do in natural light. So that's pretty much it for this update. I will be back at the 12 hour mark, which is about five hours from now, and we'll see how everything goes between then. So far, so good. I'm so impressed, you guys. Like, you have no idea. Just my skin is glowing and it looks so good. So anyways, with that being said, I will be back later on in a couple of hours and I'll give you guys my final thoughts and opinions. All right, guys, I am back for my final update. It has officially been 12 hours since I applied the foundation. As you can see, it's just after midnight and it's actually kind of cold, so I did have to throw on my hoodie. But let's get into having a look at the foundation and seeing how it's held up for the last bit of the day. So from what I can see so far, like. Just just looking in the monitor, I can definitely see that it is a lot more shinier than when I last touched base with you guys. And I totally do feel like it's something that could be easily fixed up with some type of like powder to touch it up or blotting sheets, which I don't have either of those products from Fenty Beauty. But I mean, I totally think those things would fix this issue right up. It definitely has gotten a lot more shinier in the second half of the 12 hours, but honestly, like that's typical. Although in saying that, like nothing has broken up on my face. Like the foundation has not moved. I still don't have any, like, I always do that when I check for crease lines. Like, uh. But yeah, I still don't have any crease lines going on whatsoever, which I'm completely shocked by. Like, I'm very taken aback by the fact that I don't have any creasing. The foundation has not faded at all. I still think it looks really good. Just the fact that it is a tad bit oily. I mean, like, look at my forehead right now. But I could totally fix it up with blotting sheets or some type of powder. So yeah, I'm very impressed by this foundation. So my final points that I want to make is that if you are interested in trying this foundation, I definitely think it is worth trying out considering the fact that there is such a broad selection of shades to choose from is just insane. And I feel like there is definitely going to be a shade for every single person, but it is definitely important to take into consideration the fact that when you apply the foundation, it does dry down darker. So my final thoughts on this foundation is that it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. I totally love it. I love the finish that it's given me and I love just how long it has lasted on my skin without creasing. Like let's take a massive note of the fact that it has not creased on my skin whatsoever. And even though I do have a super oily skin type, nothing has broken up on my skin and nothing has faded. So it has done its job. It's lasted the full time. 12 hours, Bad Gal Riri did the damn thing and I'm so impressed by the foundation. Honestly, when celebs come out with makeup products, I am a little bit, you know, iffy towards them. But this is, this is game changer. Like this is a game changer right here. I feel like for people such as myself with super oily skin, this foundation is a dream come true. And yeah, I can't recommend it enough for you guys. So that's pretty much it for this first impressions. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it and I really hope you all found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new and you're still here at the end and you're not subscribed and you're still watching, you may as well hit the little red subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos that I post. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for the list of products that I used in this video where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if if you guys want to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, all that good stuff is down below. Anyways, with that being said, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I'll catch you all in my next video. Stay glowing.